pleasure of speaking with Mr. Keith Becker. He is, besides other, th other things, he is a president of Cal Narpum, which is California chapter of Narpum. And my question to Keith would be, Keith, um, there's a lot of talking in the property management world today about social media. There's a lot of talking, not a lot of doing. So what do you think, I mean, is, is it really relevant to this business? And if it is, um, how do you feel this is going to affect the business uh, two, three years from now? There, my impression from my own experience is, you're right, it's, it's a lot of talking and I think that we're in only the early stage of what the impact will be. Um, the best analogy I can go to is go back about uh, eight years, ten years, and Craigslist was just starting to be a possibility. Hey, have you heard about this? The fact is that now, it's the year 2012, Craigslist is known by everybody. Um, but back in 2005, it was just a thought, and nobody realized exactly how large it was going to be and how dramatically it was going to change the industry, change what we do. And I suspect, as far as social media, it is going to be the same type, larger type of change and impact on our business. That, that is a great point you brought up, because my feeling is, in property management, as we all know, um, it's about people, right? Because you don't carry, well, you hardly carry any inventory. It's all about you managing your employees, and helping property uh, owners and prop and tenants to you know have a friendly relationship where everybody makes money or, and live where they want to live. Um, so to me, it always seemed like social media is is per absolutely perfect platform to help those communications um, um, get a little bit more efficient and, and uh, get high quality of of, of uh, interactions. Uh, versus just having a phone, because there's only so much of you and so many hours in a day to take phone calls. Oh, absolutely. In your, go ahead, I'm sorry. From, from the standpoint of if you were looking at, and, and I have to presume that my tenants and my owners feel the same way, um, would you prefer a phone call or an email? Honestly, I prefer an email. Why? Because I can answer it at any time of day. Two, there's a paper trail. Three, it can be fairly specific. You can get a clear and concise answer to a clear and concise question. If there's a certain sense of efficiency while still being um, attentive to our tenant slash owner. Um, taking up on your previous question in terms of social media, the fact is at the end of the day, tenants need, expect something from us. Owners need, expect something from us. The platforms, if you will, Facebook, Twitter, um, the new breaking technology will allow our tenants, our owners, to reach us in ways that they weren't able to do so before. Um, a certain sense of immediacy, a certain sense of uh, um, being able to express if they need something, if they want something, being able to do so. If they're happy with the service we provide, letting us know. Um, it really is a, uh, um, a, a continuing conversation, if you will. And from the standpoint of our relationship with our tenants, our standpoint of our relationship with our owners, unlike sales, where basically it is a straight line process, meaning that you get the listing, you list the property, you sell the property, the business is concluded. Property management is a relationship that in a perfect situation, it stretches out for years, if not decades or more. And I have clients and I have tenants with whom I have relationships that have lasted for a decade or more. And this platform, the, 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 the social media, um, will actually allow us to improve upon those long-term relationships. Gotcha. Very good, Keith. Look, I, I've been enjoying talking to you, and we've had discussed this multiple times, but I, I have to tell you that I have, I have friends, I wouldn't name names, who are also part of the wonderful Narcom organization. In fact, they, uh, some of them actually uh, lead their respective chapters, and they don't, 
you know, really believe in the application of social media, or at least they're not able to see yet. And I don't think anybody really can, like, in absolute terms. But they can't really see how this is going to uh, impact their business. You know, maybe you can address uh, uh, my friends and, and tell them, just quickly, what do you think, what do you really think in five years from now, in three years from now, who are the property managers that are going to... Um, be the ones to get the most business and the best business. Let me, let me, um, I'm going to go off on a tangent. I love it. I belong to an association and we had a guest speaker who um, is here in Sonoma County in Santa Rosa area and she um, is a social media trainer. Um, what is Facebook? What is tr Twitter, etc.? Um, and it was that exposure, that meeting, that uh, sort of inspired the spark in my own thought process and investigation of, okay, what does this mean to me, to us as a business? Beside, beyond my own personal Facebook page, um, what does this mean as a business? And over the course of the last four, five months maybe, I really have been immersing myself in exactly how serious, how important is this? Um, one of the most extraordinary pieces of information was something I tripped across just a couple of days ago and it had just a a wealth of information on this video that was that I found off of YouTube. Uh, excuse me, YouTube. YouTube that was great. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> um anyway, if Wikipedia was a book, it would be two point three two million pages long and would take you 123 years to read. There's all of this wealth of just knowledge. YouTube is the second most used search engine. Who knew that? All of this stuff is itself extraordinary. But going back to what your question was, the very last statement. Return on investment in social media means that your business will continue to exist in five years. Wow. Okay.